Again, welcome to DSLT734 class, which is Inferential Statistics in Decision Making. In these lectures, we're going to discuss about geometric and also Python discrete probability distribution. So our main object objective is how to find the probabilities using geometric distribution, how to find the probabilities using the Python, dis uh, Python distribution. Now, when we have a question, and the event is based on interval, and the mean of the occurrences of the events is given to us, then we can use Python, Python distribution. When the probability of success is given to us, and there are no the random variable, then we can use geometric distribution. So let's go to, we start with the geometric distribution we say the geometric distribution also is a discrete probability distribution, which means it's based on counting. So it's, it satisfies the following condition. A try is repeated until a success occurs. And also a repeated tries are independent of each other. Now the probability of success P is constant for each try. Then the probability that the first success will occur on try X is giving us P, lowercase p is the probability of success times Q, which is probability of failure raised to the power X minus one. X is our random variable. Now to find the Q to be one minus P. So let's try an example here. From experience, you know that the probability that you will make a sell on any given telephone call is 0.23. Find the probability that your first sell on any given day will occur on your fourth or fifth sales call. So here we are going to find the probability when the random variable is fourth and also when it's fifth. Since it's fourth or fifth, we're going to add the two probabilities together. Here we can use geometric distribution. Why? Because the probability of success is given to us and we are finding probability that your first cell on any other, whatever the random variable is here is for the fourth and the fifth cells. So probability cells on fourth or fifth call is four plus five or probability of fourth call plus probability of fifth call. Now we know the probability of success is 0.23. So probability of failure will be one minus 0.23, which will give us 0.77. The random variable is four and also five. So here we find the probability that we are in the fourth call is 0.23, which is P times Q, which is 0.77 raised to the power s minus one, which is four minus one. And this is our answer when we use the calculator. Probability of the fifth call will be 0.23 times 0.77. By this time, the random variable is five. So five minus one, 0.0 is 0, 0, 0, 0.0052. So we know that the, the one of the rules uh, conditions said, the probability of success is constant for each try. So we use 0.23 in all the tries. So we have four plus probability of five. So we add them together. And this would be our solution. So next we do the Python distribution. Also a Python distribution is a discrete probability distribution. Also, it satisfies the following condition. The experiment consists of counting the number of times an event S occurs. The key point is that this is in a given interval. Both binomial and geometric does not base on a given interval. So the interval can be a time, an area, volume, etc. So the probability of the event occurring is the same for, for each interval, between each interval is the same. And also the number of occurrences in one interval is independent 
of the norm of occurrence in other intervals. So the probability of the event occurring is the same for each interval. And to find the probability of exactly S occurrences in an interval is probability of X equal to the mu to the power X, E, which is our exponential, is, is a constant value 2.71818, raised to the power negative mu, which is the mean, divided by X factorial. So let's see an example. Here, the question said the mean number of accidents per month at a set intersection is three. What is the probability that in any given month, four accidents will occur at this intersection? Here, we can't use binomial because we don't know the probability of success also to know the failure. But we can use the poison. The reason why we can use poison is because we know the mean. And all we need is the mean and also the random variable. So the mean is three, the random variable is four. So the formula is what mean raised to the power x, so three raised to the power four, times e raised to the power negative mu, so 2.718 to e to raised to the power negative three, all divided by x factorial, which will be four factorial. We know factorial means, or four factorial means four times three times two times one. And the answer will be 0 0.168. So the difference between binomial and also poison or parsing is again, the different parsing is based on interval period. Binomial is not based on interval. So in summary, we learn what is a geometry distribution and Python distribution. We see their formulas, how to use them to find their probabilities. Also, the condition is that, as we said earlier with pausing, we may know the mean and we may know the random variable, which is again discrete random variable. With geometric, we have to, in order to find the probability, we have to know the probability of success and also the random variable. With poison, we have to know the probability. Uh, of the random variable and also the mean of the currencies. We don't need to have the probability of success. So again, I'm going to end here and then wish everybody the best. And uh, this will be the conclusion of discrete probability distributions. So in this course, we study three discrete, uh, three discrete probability distribution, which is again, binomial and then geometric and then the last one we just finished, which is the Paulson. So binomial, geometric, and Paulson, Python. So wish everybody the best. Thank you.